Uh, hello everybody. How's it going? Turn this down. So, how's everyone doing today? Uh, I need to move this mic. So, I'm here. And I'm not going to be on for very long. Because... I have things I need to get to, and but I didn't want to leave you guys without another stream this week. So I'm just having one of those, one of those days where it seems like everything is just not working. Like I can't even get myself to focus on the things I need to focus on, let alone you know get anything done, and trying to figure out how to do these other things that I would normally be doing just it's like it's today things are feeling more like obligations than like I'm doing them because I want to do them or I like doing them and honestly I've been feeling like that for a while just generally this this I just Wondering, you know, why I'm doing the things I'm doing and why I'm trying as hard as I'm trying because it just feels like things seem like they're getting better and then they don't. And thank you for those hosts, my loyal viewers. So, there you go. Look behind the curtain. So, when the curtain's not there and the green screen's not on, that's what's behind me. So, I didn't. it's just how much I didn't feel like doing anything today. I didn't even want to be bothered to hang the green screen because I have to hang it up each time and turn those lights down. So, I mean, normally I have that light off during the day and I just have those lights. So you're kind of seeing what it's like when I'm not doing my, all my stuff. Got to move this mic again. Tried to adjust the camera so I was a little more centered in it. So I've been trying to get things, I, I've been trying to just, yeah, I've been trying to get through things, and it's just not like I can't stay on task for any for the for the life of me. I can't get myself motivated to do anything, and then the things I am doing, it just feels like I'm not actually accomplishing anything. And you know, there just comes a point of why well, I keep trying because I don't know. Class Wednesday therapy later I can talk to my therapist about it and see if that makes me feel any better but it's just it's like every day feels cram packed to the rim with stuff that needs to be done and I can't I, I, I struggle to get through the simplest things and then the, 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 the important things just you know it's like I can't I can't even get I can't get to the things to everything that needs to be done and so I was like, well, where do I start cutting things out? Well, I mean, there's obvious answers, things I could cut out. And then I'm just, I look at my day and I'm depressed at it. So, and I've been trying to work today. Here, see, check out. I even went to the trouble of setting up a scene for you guys. So you guys can see par part of what I do. So there's me and there's the thing I'm working on. I'm trying to do some editing. That's just one of the two projects I have open. The other one, I just didn't feel like putting it in the scene, but I, can, I mean, I can add it in. It's not that difficult. But I mean, even that was proving. Where is it? I mean, it's just the, the thought process of trying to do these things. It's just constant. It's like this wear in on my head of like, what 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 am I supposed to be doing now? And see why why would you just just open it. Pick one. I don't care. So here's the... I'm trying to add a scene in there so you guys can see it. What what it is I'm working on, but... It's like when I look for the look for the stuff, <laughs> the things just aren't there. It's just... Yep. Pretty much sums my day up right there. 
So no scene for you. So you guys don't get to see it. I was going to show you the other thing I was working on, but it just... Nope. Doesn't want to work. And so I end up just sitting here spinning my wheels, trying to, to get through some simple things like remembering to take my meds or remember to just do these things and... I don't know. Not every day. It seemed lately I know it seemed like I've been doing okay. But honestly most of the time I'm just faking it. I come on and I put on a good face because it's better to put on you know, it's like it's a, I said it before that sometimes you need to have something that you can look forward to that you can succeed at. So that's why I start I went back to gaming to start my day to 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 something that I knew I could do that I could you know have fun at, but you know, at the same time oh there, now it's there. But at the same time have the opportunity, you know, to uh, Just you know, enjoy myself and succeed at this little thing, and I don't. I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to actually like show you guys the the other side, the other half of the project, and it does not matter how I how I make it visible. It just will not show. Like that's it's just not showing, and I'm not really sure why. This used to work. I remember it used to work. I mean, I suppose I could do a screen capture, but since I'm blocking part of the screen, <laughs> and that's what everybody wants to watch, me failing at doing things. That's exactly what everybody wants to watch. Why is that there? It's going to be over here. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I mean, hey, I succeeded in making this scene. I got my wife when she forgot her lunch. So, I mean, there are some things I accomplished today, but it's like, I go, I go, I go into every day with these plans of how what, how, what I'm gonna accomplish that day, what, what the day is gonna include. And then I get to the end of it, and most of it, if I even touched on it, I didn't get make anywhere near the progress I wanted to make. And, and then I look around at the things that, the things that I could have been doing that might have been more productive, and it's just, it's just this overwhelming, blah and i just don't want to do anything like i can't like my, my wife will ask me in the evening do you want to watch something like no do you want to hang out i do but i don't know what i want to do i don't want to make any choices and then you know she'll make a choice and i'll just kind of sit there and i won't I'll, you know i'll try and she'll make choices and my wife and i are very close friends so i we enjoy, enjoy a lot of the same things but it's just I know I should be enjoying it, but that's just another obligation that I feel that I need to be doing something. That it's just, hey, you, you, hey, hey, dummy, this is something that you like. This is something that you know you're going to enjoy. Sorry, I was peeking a little there in the volume. This is something that you know is going to make you laugh or whatever, and I'm and I'm sitting there I'm like, okay, well, so why am I not? Why is it just? What's wrong? And so I get to the end of the day, and I just had to I come to each day. I just come to the same conclusion at the end of every day: something's wrong. Like there's always something wrong. It's depressing. Trying to push your way through this more. This more. It's like it's like walking through. something that's so you maybe you've had to like put on a pair of pants that were too big for you and you're trying to walk and either you're trying to pull them up or they're trying to you're trying to cinch them correctly or they're you're tripping them all over your feet it's like every day the simplest things are like that like this this right here on did you see on the screen right here this should be easy for me i wrote this already 
just going through and going, eh, I don't like this word there. I don't like that word there. I can get, I'll get started on it. And then just, I can't, I just, just grind to a halt every single time. And so I have another project and I managed to get it done last week, but I, there's another part to it. And I'm just, I keep getting up every morning trying to, to get to it so I can get to the halfway point in my day. I'm like, yes, look at all this. And I get to the halfway point in my day and I haven't gotten nearly as much as, if anything, done at all. And yesterday I lost the entire day to try and just, I, I wanted to, I wanted to have my, uh, some music on my iPod so that I could put, put it in my ears with some focusing sounds, you know, messing with my brainwave sounds and just work. And I lost the entire day just trying to get the music on that stupid device. And I knew I would, I knew as soon as I started, I was going to lose the entire day. It just freaking This is why I went back to streaming first thing. And this is why I went to streaming first thing in the morning. But I can't, like, I mean, I suppose I could, especially now that my wife and daughter are not going to be getting up as early because summer starts. Basically, tomorrow's the last day they're getting up and going to school. But it's just... And my day is very, it's, I, I've, I've planned my day so that I can succeed, so that I can succeed at this stuff. I have the device sitting right there. She's going off constantly all day. I've got a, like, sh I, my alarm goes off at 530. I have a thing reminding me to take my first round of meds, and then at, I, I walk the dog, and then there's a thing reminding me to take my second round of meds, and then there's a thing reminding me to walk the dog again, and there's a message from my wife that always goes off to remind me. To, and there's another one in there that reminds me to wake the kid up. I'm going to have to turn that one off for the summer. And then another one at 10 to remind me to walk the dog again. And then at 11, I should be done with my work work. Although this past, last week and this week, I haven't been doing that stuff. And so, I, you know, I get to 11, it says, okay, it's time to switch over and edit. So the idea was you, be, you do your work work stuff, you know, for the, my part-time job, start of the day when it's quiet. And you get that, you get through that stuff, and then you get eleven o'clock, and you edit for an hour. Eat your mind ready, feed yourself at eleven thirty, and then from twelve to twelve thirty, you get ready for stream. And you get on, and you talk about this stuff, and you play, and maybe you help people, and then it ends at two thirty, and or whenever. And then you, uh, there's a reminder telling me to clean something. There's a reminder in the halfway through the stream to go to the bathroom because I just forget to do these things all the time. And as a net, there's a reminder to start dinner. <laughs> There's a reminder to feed the pets again. There's reminders to go to bed on time, multiple reminders. It's just, I've done, I'm doing everything I can to make sure that I do the things I'm supposed to do. And I get to the end of the day and make sure maybe I got through all of those. But, and I know I'm supposed to tell myself, hey, you, you can, it's another day that you didn't give up on. But I guess, I mean, you can only tell yourself that so many times before. <laughs> It starts to sound like you're just saying something through, you know, rote memory. So, and I really look forward to doing this every day, but it's a it's a very solitary thing I do. I mean, the, my my I have a co-host, but he's having his own issues right now that make it hard for him to commit to doing to do to doing stuff. And so, and I try to you know, get, I try to stay involved with as much as I can, as much as my issues will let me, but, and then of course yesterday I finally, I've been waiting for a, a letter from the, from the stupid, from the VA. I tried to go get help from them with my, with vocational rehab because I just, I can't find a job. I couldn't find a job that I could do with my disability and they, essentially told me you're you're not functional enough for us to give you to for us to help you we'd be setting you up for failure so you need to go talk to them about changing your rating so okay well your other office here told me i should my rating's not right because clearly i'm not functional enough i'd have someone else say that for me and that's why i have the service dog i'm trying to get myself more functional and i have felt more functional but again it's always this like like I'm feeling like I'm 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 faking it all the time, and I can't trip or fall because everyone's depending on me to do these things. 
And so I, I asked, I was like, okay, they told me I'm not functional enough. So guys, come on, what do you, what, what am I supposed to do? And so they did another rating review, came back and said, we're sorry, we can't help you. You're too functional. Which is it, guys? Which is it? Am I not functional or am I functional? And so I have, I mean, I have, I have a piece of paper right here that literally says, I'm not functional enough but i'm too functional for them to to change my rating and this is after i spent three months just trying to make sure they had the right information which was a stress and thing. and in some areas I, I guess i do kind of feel more functional he has helped with that i'm not afraid to go to the store anymore whereas you know three months ago four months ago i wouldn't go to the store by myself my wife was constantly having to go to the store and it was driving her crazy and she was having to take so much time out of her, her, her week to go to the store because I couldn't do it. So he has helped in that. And I've been willing to, I've been um, more willing to venture out into places. And I've even started going places by myself, but generally I do it when I, I there's some reason I can't take him. Um, and I'll usually take the wife or daughter and they'll kind of act in that stead. Um, or I'm going someplace where I'm not going to have to deal with anybody, like to the storage unit and back. So... I guess technically I'm playing a game. I could have put that in there. I mean, but that's just running on auto just because it's something. When it, it'll it run for like 45 minutes and it'll stop and then I'll have to, you know, reset it. So it's a nice little reminder. Hey, take a break from what you're doing. And then this, like, I've been trying to, to plan some other way, other, th you know, than the things that I can do. I've been trying ways to, you know, be, be interactive with people, to keep myself socializing with people. And... Like I, we're working out this this hot potato thing we're doing with my extra life team, and which, by the way, the bar below me, I am we are fundraising for extra life. You can find out more at. I have to type it in because I don't have. I forgot, <laughs> and all the things. Thing I forgot to turn stream puppy on, so I can't just have a button. So the bot shared that before, but I'm fundraising for the hospital that saved my niece's life. Um, and you can join. You can find out more about my thing, and you can and you can do it yourself. Just gonna, but so Pixel Sharks, that's our extra life team. And I've been trying to work out this thing where we do this this joint colony on RimWorld, and I just even that I somehow managed to 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 tick ever tick everybody off. And and then earlier today I was just trying to be helpful in somebody's stream because Twitch was having all kinds of issues and somehow I managed to tick the entire stream off just because I was making I, I was making a suggestion and I don't I just I guess I just wasn't aware that it was I mean it worked for me and it worked for other people and it just it didn't make sense and honestly it didn't make sense it shouldn't have worked okay but the issues that Twitch were having this morning me turning my quality of view, like the level that I was trying, the quality I was viewing it in, it should not have made it better. Like in any way, shape, or form. Yet somehow it did. I was no longer getting stutters like everybody else was. The audio was clear. I'm sure the screen was a little blurry. It was a little fuzzy because it wasn't as high quality, but I was able to continue watching the stream uninterrupted. And the stream I was in, the person was saying, the, the streamer was saying, I'm, man, I'm getting... Um, I'm, I'm dropping frames. So there was something something going on on that end, separate from, I think, what was happening to Twitch, which may still be happening to Twitch, although I have a I have a stream health thing up so I can keep an eye on it because I was curious how that would go. And I... And the, and the streamer was saying, "I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing frame rate drops." But I had intent when I first got in, I, it, it auto quality, did the auto quality up to the to the highest, and I was getting the stream hits. And so I went in and manually changed it down to 480. Never, like he's, even as he's sitting there saying, "I'm dropping frames, I'm dropping lots of frames." Holy crap, I'm dropping like all all, all the frames. He never once skipped. Never, it never skipped. It never. I'm sure he was a little blurry again, but and so I was sitting there saying, "Guys, I don't know why this works." But me turning down to 480 has made it so that I can see everything. And I told the streamer, he just eventually gave up after the whole fiasco in his chat. Um, he eventually just gave up. I 
I told him on, on offline, I said, dude, I don't know what was going on and why it was working, but he, all that time you were saying it, I could still hear you perfectly. And he was confounded. Like, and I don't know how it worked either. But, and, and, I was, and I was just trying to help, but everyone was just so... But, and, and I should have picked up on it. I should have just shut up. But I didn't. So I'm you know, so if I'm sitting here like okay let's look at this past week what have I what what have I succeeded at besides getting through each day um I moved some stuff I did comp I did turn in a creative project but that was last week since then I have done nothing but flounder on that project although I had some really good ideas last night and I just need to write them down and I made this scene. I rearranged it. And even that was a headache, trying to get that that on the thing. It just kept, it was, it was just proving difficult. And I guess I've been, I've, I've been helping, uh, I've helped, I helped a streamer get stream puppies set up for themselves. And I gave a copy of my book. I sold a copy of my book. And I even set up, I guess I could say I set I set up the opportunity to sell my book at a con, but all that's going to be terrifying. I don't know how I'm going to do that, and I need help from my wife. But like the the goal, the daily goals I set for myself. Jeez, I just realized I don't think I've showered since Saturday, and the thought didn't even occur to me. I feed myself just because I, I stand all day, so I just get hungry. I'm, and I'm, I, I make I have these plans to do these things, I and I try to commit to them with people so that I feel like so that it'll motivate me to do it. I anthropophagic. It's nice to see you. Sorry I haven't been able to catch any of your um your streams. No, it's okay. I, I I think I end up with a lot of lurkers in here just because I tend to talk about things that are shoot, I did that Dang it. Shout out anthro there are a lot of letters in your name. Did you know that? <laughs> Sixty four. There. Rimworld. Yeah. I like that. I managed I wish my bot was I wish my bot was I need to just sub my bot. But so so the the icons with my emotes abuse in there, but I like the fact that it puts that highlight in there. Gives you guys a gives you guys a little taste of it. I've only managed to catch I think one of his streams, but I'll tell you this. If you need a nice relaxing voice to listen to while he's streaming a game, Anthropophagic has it. So definitely Definitely nail it. That definitely um, give him. I think he streams in the evenings. I wish I had workshop the name around a bit before I nailed it down. Hey, you know when you're t saying it, anthropophagic, it's 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 okay. It's that typing it out. And I should have just done at. I don't know. Let me see if it'll work if I do at. Anthro. Yeah, it'll work if I just do at. I should have just done at. I don't know why I insisted on typing it. So. But it's nice to see you, and I hope your streams have been going well. Um, as to an answer your question, I'm I, I I'm I'm not pretending today. I try to I try to keep a keep a good face on, you know, because especially if my co-host is on, because I know for him he's always got right on the edge um, of not being able to do what he's doing. And my wife has been really busy, so I've been trying to make sure that I keep you know I I don't put too much on her and. And you know, been trying to not drop any of the load here, but I mean, I know, and, and I, but so there's a specific, you know, environment I try to create with the stream where you guys can come in and just hang out, and we, and either we, whether we talk about important stuff or not, you can just hang out and listen while you guys do the things you do. Maybe it's over lunch or what, and just today I couldn't do it, so I'm letting you see, take a little peek into. Um, into the, into what my 
day is like. So I've got that brow I've got that writing program open, and I've got four different Microsoft documents open, and over there is that game, and then I have Stellaris soundtrack right there, and over here I have a couple streamers who normally I would turn that off if I was playing a game, but I'm just talking. So, and that's my day, and you get to see what it's like behind me. Right now it's a mess because we're packing to move, and don't yeah. You um, it you're not interrupting. So I'm glad I'm glad you you're able to hang out. Yeah, it's 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 getting harder. For a while there, it seemed like I mean it it did really seem like I was I was doing better, and then I got that letter yesterday from the VA that basically said. You know, so basically, uh, I don't know if you guys were listening when I said this earlier. I've been told by the VA twice over the past three months. Once I'm too, I'm not functional enough for us to help you find work, and now they've been, I've been told I'm too functional for them to up my rating. So it's like I'm caught. Like neither will, neither office will help me. So it just kind of hit me hard. So. Just I wasn't in the and I was sitting there trying to think what what could I play today, and I just couldn't think of anything. So, thank you, Noah, and thank you that you that you're here. And I and I know and see that's the thing. I look I look at my life and I know I've accomplished things, but the the problem is I don't. A lot of times I don't recognize that person anymore. The person that ran three marathons on three different continents who wrote and published a novel. And yeah, you're right. Sometimes you do have to drop it. So. Good. I'm glad it's Wednesday. I have therapy later. <laughs> Going to be nice to be able to. Okay, I mean, and that, that's kind of, I do all my therapy standing right here. So that's why this kind of feels comfortable for me to just talk about things, looking at that camera is because this is, and I'm sorry, I keep bumping my mic. This is kind of my therapy. This is my therapy room. So, and I don't know, maybe, you know, and, and talking about it, all, talking about it always does help. But I mean, I guess lately I've just been trying to keep it positive and I just haven't felt, I, I can tell you, I haven't been feeling positive, like at all. And I haven't wanted to play anything. I haven't really wanted to be doing anything. I've been making myself do them all. So I appreciate you guys, you know, taking the time to listen to me mutter about it. Lovecraftian cult Rimworld. I just read that. I really want to get. I really want to try that. Uh, I'm guessing anthropophagic. That's the the Cthulhu mod, and I have that suite set up. I need I need to create a list of it to to just do a play, um, play of it. But I try not to play. Like, I've been trying not to play uh, RimWorld off stream because I get I don't want to get burned out on it. So I haven't had much of an opportunity to play. Um, I need to. I need to actually take a little bit of time and just play those things that uh, to. Well, for once, I'm more familiar with them. There's there, there's a thing to be said for trying something out on stream. But there's also a thing to be said for, you know, getting through the basics so you understand how something is set up so then you can just, you know, play. Um, I think it, you know, do that stuff. And I've been, I've been really working hard to set a, a hard line of I'm not going to do any kind of money-making work after a certain time of day. And the, the plan was to not be working past, like, if I had to do anything past my stream, it was going to be the creative stuff, the writing stuff that my part-time job was going to be done in the morning. Failing is one thing. Failing with an audience, that's another. Unfortunately, anthropophagic, the, I think f watching people fail makes for really good enter entertaining viewing. I think just, I don't know if you've tried Toolkit, the Twitch Toolkit mod, either version 1 or the beta, which is you know not much now. I think is now the Toolkit and it'll do it. Um, I don't know if you've tried that, but pretty consistently every stream I go into that's got the toolkit enabled, all it is is fail. It's just how how can we make this colony fail in the most glorious fashion possible? 
and 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 laugh our heads off at the same time and some for some of the streamers they're like just bring it this is a, let's let's bring on the chaos bring on the madness let's watch this colony burn I frankly am kind of tired of that because it's every every toolkit stream. So I've been taught. I've actually been uh, talking to the, the dev and working out ways I can set the settings so that it's impossible until I turn and until I allow you, it's impossible to kill the to kill the, uh, the colony. <laughs> I'm lucky most of my viewers want to help. Some of them though, yeah. Uh, and that's and that's the or or they'll try to help in ways that aren't helpful, like sending you food. Not not food, not 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 sending you meals. Any we'll not even we'll, we won't even include sending you raw food because raw food you can cook. All you got to do is move it, right? But you got to move it. That's that's a task for the pawns. But when they send you terriers, chickens, bunches of farm animals, like look, it's all just kill them and there's your meat. It's like yeah, but I have to do that now. I have to make the pawns do that, which means something else isn't getting done. It's stressful on the colony. <laughs> So I, I can tell you one thing I've said in my settings on toolkit, terriers is a doom event, which means if it happens, your, your karma is screwed. But uh, there's actually the, the dev has made some additions to the mod. And there's this one, this new one he has called delegates, where you can't spend your coins on events. You have to spend your coins on a delegate and the delegate makes the choices. Yeah, you can tell other Rimworld streamers versus people who don't play the game. Yeah. Exactly. There's everything is connected. It's just like it's just like I was talking about earlier. All this stuff is connected. And when someone who knows how all that's connected is what is t taking part in your in your colony like that, you're right. That, hit the nail right on the head they will either send you exactly the help you need that's gonna in exactly the way you need it or they're gonna send the one thing that's gonna break your colony <laughs> and to a point that's fine that's kind of the point of the game can we survive but when you mix that level of expertise dropping things on you with all of the random look what can i buy look at these coins i must spend them what's what's the worst thing i can do well, Yes, it is. It's like it, it works exactly like you think. So you you have like the suggestion that I was working with was they have a good delegate and a bad delegate, and they will make the decisions based on that role they're playing. And like every hour, change it. So you've got the, you, the opportunity to either have them switch roles or have other people step into it. And so then the viewers can spend their coins during say they say they like this delegate because they like how they choose things or that they'll listen to them then they can spend their coins then and then and then when there's someone in that position that they don't they, that they don't want to spend their coins on they can wait i think i think that's a great thing for a really long stream because you got to have time either a really long stream or a stream where you've got coin production through the roof so people have lots of coins to spend i'm going to experiment with that one i do want to do another solo colony on stream with toolkit but uh, I don't know. The last time I did it, and the last time I, my my co-host did it, it was just utter chaos, madness of how you don't un, until you are watching the fire burning everything down, you don't really understand how it's all connected. <laughs> I mean, you you think you know, and then everything's on fire. <laughs> I I thought I knew what stress was like. Then I tried to leave the air force. I had no clue what it was like. So, but um, I asked this question earlier. Is it actually? It's probably on your page, anthropophagic. When do you stream? Because I want to make sure. I think Wednesday evenings. I could actually watch you if you if you stream in the evenings, which I think you do. It's just unfortunately for you, I tend to go to bed by nine thirty my time. No, don't. Oh, you're hosting Jess. <laughs> That's who I was watching before I before I went live. Jess and all of her and all of her technical problems. I end up having two remote games. Some days I do a Lovecraft colony with no toolkit aside from earning coins, and then Sunday nights that is toolkit, so everyone can spend their coins that night. Yeah, I I like to let people keep their coins from stream to stream, but I will reset their karma. So if you have a if you have a stream where you've been misbehaving, and or you did you made one bad choice and your karma sunk, you come back the next time, your karma will be back to you know default, and you can start again. 
but your but your coins, if you earned them, I let you keep them. Unless I get someone who's just been being being the butt. Hey, you do extra life also. Cool. Uh, let me copy your link. I want to share it. I want to share it. There you go. So everyone can go check out his his extra life page. Which one are you supporting? I'm gonna click on that myself. Let's see. Oh, I can't. And uh, click. There we go. It was it was making difficult. Hey, I I will I always support extra life. Has been. I I started streaming because of extra life. You you you're gonna find you're gonna have a hard time. Um, I love your picture. Oh, I love your picture. What's your cat's name? Yes, I do. I do the 24-hour marathon every November. You help. You're you're um, supporting the Children's Health Foundation. Cool, cool. I love it. I yeah. I started streaming. That's Ralph. I started streaming in 2012 because of Extra Life, and I've been doing it ever since. I love doing it. I started doing more uh, week to week um, streams. In 2014, and, or 2000, yeah, 2014, 2015, yeah, sometime around there, because I wanted to get more viewership to my channel to help Extra Life when the when the event came. That was it was that was it was all it was all about oh, um, Extra Life for me. Local hospital to my own Extra Life was why I started. My wife actually did it first and got me into it. That's cool. My I was I, I was a part of a Fire Street performance troupe, and one of my perform, uh, fellow performers, he had a team called the Pixel Heads that I fundraised for the first year. And then in 2013, I started the Pixel Works so we could like compete fundraise together. So that's who that's how I got into it. It was, it was a friend. That's how most you, if you ask around. That's how most people got into it. They didn't. Very few people just stumble along on the uh, on the road, you know, and find extra life. It's usually they they have a friend who is helping, or they had a uh, uh, or or they had someone who was at the hospital. Now, see, for me, it's kind of a combination. I had a friend who started doing it, and I initially started doing the fundraising for that hospital that was right there near us, but. After that, I found, the, I think it was the next year. No, it was the third year, so 2014. That was when I found out that my niece had actually been, like her life had been started and, and her life saved twice by a hospital in the network. And that's when I switched over to that one, and that's who I've been supporting ever since is Providence of Alaska, which last year, because there's a handy-dandy command, last year your money helped purchase a giraffe warmer to help keep them alive parenting classes, car seats for those who can't afford them, and help to support the child life team, which is like the team that goes around making the lives better for the children. So, call it cool. So I still didn't, didn't see on here when you streamed. You said, you said it in here. You said Sundays, toolkit nights. So right now, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays right now. Okay. Maybe this summer I'll get be able to stay up a little later and catch you. But that that picture on, on your on your extra life page, absolutely, that that is great. You, you got like a Patrick Rothfuss feel with a cat, just great. Nice vibe there. That's a glorious beard. I I, I don't want to have a beard. I like having a beard. I just don't want a beard that's that long. So, but that's that's actually one. If I want to talk about, you know, someone said it earlier, Noah. I think it was Noah. You said that I should, um, I should uh, feel, I shouldn't feel. Um, I forget. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with my my words here. Let me go back. Mm. I can't find it. Oh, you deserve. I deserve and credit. You've accomplished quite a bit. If there's something that I'm extremely proud of, besides my daughter and the fact that I'm still somehow really, I'm, I'm still, I'm married to like the greatest woman on the planet, and she's still, you know, hopelessly in love with me. I don't know how I managed to keep that through all this. Um, it's that over the time I've raised over seven thousand dollars to help children in need. And that's something that I will eat. When, when you get to the end and you look back on all the things you did and everyone was like, well, why did you spend all that time doing this right here? And I'll be able to point at that and go, that's why. Sure, it pays some of the bills. 
I bought a nice upgrade for my computer the last two times I've got stuff out from Twitch. But honestly, most of the time it's about that. It's a crazy good cause. We've run into so many people who have been helped out by the hospital network, and we had no idea until we started doing it. Oh, you're welcome. No, you know, I, I, I have, I have a, like a, a fund every year that I set aside of, um, like I, as, as I encounter people either in my stream or I, I some other, uh, some other stream or some other thing that I donate out of. So that's, you, you felt, you felt, you hit that button for me of, oh, I just encountered someone time to donate. So I, I do, I, I have a, cause you know, everyone has that amount that they'll donate themselves and I, you, know, you use part of it to start your own, and then the rest you donate to other to, you know, to other people that you encounter, and that's what I do. I wouldn't tell anyone how they should or shouldn't feel. Albert Ellis, a past APA pres, has been known to say that "should" is a bit of a dirty word. It is a that is a filthy, filthy word. "Should" will get you into so much trouble, just personally and in other just in other ways. Because like, if you get this feeling of like I should be doing this, I should. And I just, I mean, I said it earlier, uh, I, I should feel okay. Like when I'm watching something with my wife that I know I'm, that I know I enjoy, but I don't, it just, I know I should. And then that just kind of, kind of starts that spiral. So you're, you're, you're right. That should is a filthy, filthy word. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Cause should goes, start, it goes down the road. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> Um, so, but, but, yeah, and, and you, you are, it's, you're very welcome, anthropophagic, and I know it'll go for a great cause, and I hope that you are able to have, like, contact with your hospital so you can figure out, so that they can send you emails and tell you how your donations are, are, are helping. Uh, it's, I, I was very happy to get that donate, that email this year so I could make that little, um, that command in my bot so that I can share, because people, it, you know, people hear you talk about how it helps, but seeing it goes even farther. I don't think I thought of should in this way before. I need to rethink this. I, it's, there are, there's a lot of things I've had to rethink because of what's, what's changed. Now, I, I well, full disclosure here, I came into my time in the military with, pro, with issues already from childhood trauma. This, what happened to me in the military, I don't want to necessarily, necessarily say complicated it, but it compounded some of those issues. It's like it didn't, it didn't like take that issue and make it bigger because I can talk about that. I just choose not to. I can talk about that without any feeling of stress or like I shouldn't be talking about it or stuff like that. There are parts of what happened to me in the military that I still do not want to talk about. I don't have heard the details until I read that message. So yeah, I need to look into this. Yeah, just you can reach out to you. Hey, Riot Maker. Uh, so one of the people who's who's been providing me with entertainment in the mornings while I try to work, and sometimes distractions. My dog is sleep barking. Um, is Riot Maker? I've been hanging out with him. He's uh, a new-ish to streaming. I know he's. He's back. I don't know if he did it before and then took a break, but he's been streaming some RimWorld. Some uh, is his colony is not it did not it's not been going well, but he's still doing it. And if you need a nice chill place to hang out where you listen to the game sounds and a nice nice voice, it's kind of kind of kind of the same vibe that you get from Anthropophagic. Are there are there people you can talk to about like other people in the military or just something you can't full stop? Um, no, well, okay. There are certain parts that I'm not allowed to talk about because it's classified. Uh, I have no issues talking to my wife about what I can't talk about. And I've talked to my therapist. And the therapy that I do with her, Accelerated Resolution Therapy, we actually had her on here. I think this will give you that link. No, that won't do it. There's a, there's, we had an interview with her a couple of weeks ago where we talked about acceleration, accelerated resolution therapy, and it's on my YouTube. So if you go to my YouTube and look up the PTSD, either PTSD or PTSD um, interviews playlist, you will find, you'll find the, you, you, the interview. There's, cause there's two interviews there because we also interviewed a, a partnered streamer about his, his experience in a school shooting. So 
I do. I can talk. It's just there are parts. There are certain aspects of it that I. There are certain things that were done that that I did that I took part in that I I. I'm still having a hard time figuring out how I'm going to forgive myself for them, and I don't want to talk about them yet. I'm not there yet. Uh, now, the stuff that happened to me as a kid, I don't mind talking about it. I just it hasn't this is it just hasn't been the time to talk about it on here. So, Riot Maker, I've been streaming since March. Took a break while I was trying to figure out my work sleep schedule. Hey, life does that. I took all of 2018 off because I because I was gone to training. I was. Uh, doing, I was deployed. I, I streamed a little bit, uh, you know, while I was gone. I streamed for Extra Life while I was gone, and then I didn't pick up again until uh, until January, on my birthday actually. I've had some personal progress this year with my gardening. Plants are so nice to be in relationship with. Seeing them respond to my caretaking is very gratifying. Eating the literal fruits of my labor is very sweet. That is very true. My wife is always so happy when she makes something. Um, that's like. Um, her, her, the first thing she does wherever we move anywhere, she sets up, sets up her herb garden because that's something that you can get results from pretty quickly, like in terms of making your food taste better. And she loves it. Like, look, I sp like this. I spiced this something from my own garden. So, unfortunately, we don't live anywhere where she can have more than that. But, uh, yeah. So, I think that will, yeah, that will take you to this. So I, I need to actually add it as a thing, because I know that if I do this, is it TGM? Yeah, that will take you to the vid the interview with the game mechanic, where we talk to him about his experience in a school shooting and his experience afterwards with the triggers and stuff like that. It's a great interview. Um, great to listen to while you're doing something else. Uh, um, that playlist that it's on, the next video in the playlist is the interview about accelerated resolution therapy with a licensed therapist who's always available if anybody wants to ask ask questions. She's actually on my Discord. Oh, yeah, my herb garden is my favorite. I have fresh parsley and chive with my eggs nearly every day. See, it's nice to have something, especially something you can you can do with your hands. Uh, there, I haven't done them recently, mainly because setting, doing the setup for it is, is work, is it work, and I'm not, I don't, I'm not, where I want to change my setup right now. I want to get a second camera so I can get back to doing my creative streams, especially because Zoe wants to make do, do a link crossplay. And in our new house, our, our new apartment, the plan right now is to have the dining room table behind me. So then I'll have this, the green screen that I can then drop for the creative streams and we can do the, the cosplay right there. And I want to have a second camera that I can set on this tripod over there to do to catch that and I and I've been working on a cross stitch for a decade now almost conference call Ooh, what was that conference call so going to lurk mode anthropophagic I, I appreciate your lurk and I appreciate you spending some of your time I, <laughs> thanks I'm actually feeling a little better now so I appreciate your uh, you're coming in and talking that was nice I appreciate it so and everybody be sure to give him a follow um, but yeah, I appreciate the support. And I actually, I, I know that there's a lot of people that just lurk because they like to listen to other people talk about their problems. It makes them feel better. And I understand, and that's great. But yeah, doesn't that, doesn't that feel so good, Noah, to have something every day where you where you, you can just reach over and go, hey, look at this. I actually, this I am benefiting from my hard work of, you know, tending to this every day. Have, um, gardening is a, or taking care of an animal are very therapeutic. My, my, the, for me, that thing right now is the dog, which I don't have his camera hooked up. I, I, I stopped setting it up because he stopped, he wouldn't be here somewhere where I could video him, but lately he's been making a habit of laying down at my feet when I do this, so I could probably bring it back. Um, but training him as my service dog, that has been very helpful for me. For one, it gives me something to focus on when I'm in public. So it's, so instead of being worried about the things that, that stress me out, I'm, I'm monitoring him, making sure that he's doing the things that he's supposed to be doing. And in the process, he's con while he's training, he's accomplishing the same thing for me. Every Saturday, I spend an hour in a busy mall, surrounded by people who have no concept of personal space and who think a dog in the mall is there for them to pet. Most of them figure it out by the time they get closer that he's a service dog and that they shouldn't touch him. But there are still people who, when I, they see a dog in public, they're just, must be petted, must be petted. And so but I voluntarily go to a mall on Saturday 
And with the summer coming, it's going to be hotter. There's going to be more people, and I'm still going to be going there every Saturday. And I hang out. I sit in the in the food court, surrounded by people, making lots of noise. And I'm to the point now where I can I can do it, and I can do it with one headphone out <laughs> instead of both of them in to deaden the noise. Although I still like having them both in. Um, and so I, I've made progress in that. Uh, Noah, I have two dogs, both with long hair. I get a lot of satisfaction grooming them. I even exported my experience with keeping them clean and pretty and groomed a friend's dog while he recovers from a bit of a bike accident. See, and that's a great act of service right there. You know, doing those things that would norm- that a person would normally do and then you step in and do it. And at the same time, it's, it, I, th- this is why I like to help people when I can. So if I see, um, if I'm hanging out in a stream and I see something I could, I, that I could help with, I like to offer the help because it's some it's a way that I can help. I used to be the person who, when you needed help, I was the first one that was there. Now I there are some we don't have very many friends where we live now. There there's one couple who they could call and say, "Hey, we need help," and I and I would go because I know them. They know me. They um they understand. I I actually went to a museum, an art museum, with with him, the husband, uh, my friend. And he didn't, uh, when he got there, we got in the car and he's like, hey, I understand if it's hard for you to talk, you don't have to talk. Just, I I may talk and, you know, just tell you about what's going on in my life, stuff like that. But if you don't need, if you, if you don't feel like you can talk, that's fine. And if my talking is bothering you, just give me a little motion and I'll stop. And he's like, I'm not expecting you to talk with me when we go down there. I'm not expecting you to hang out with me. If you have to leave, we can leave. But I just wanted to try to do something with you. And it was so nice to have a friend do that. And uh, he he gave me my space when I needed it. He was there kind of like if I, I don't want to necessarily say he was trying to, because I didn't take the dog because it was my first time going there and I, and I still hadn't gotten used to taking him to places like that. So I didn't try that. But it was, it was he kind of filled that role and he didn't have to. And he'd never been trained to do it. It was really nice to have someone doing that for me okay i'm going to actually go to bed now i since you know right maker i sincerely believe in what you're doing it's amazing service to vets who don't know where to go and don't have an outlet or a safe place to be well i'm hoping that i'm hoping that it helps that one person at a time if i've i know i've helped at least one person me beyond that i know of one other person who i know has 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 asked for help as a result of this for me that's a success a success couple that with the extra life stuff and yeah this when I think about it, this is this is good, um, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you saying that. And now you go get some sleep because you got to be up tomorrow to entertain me when I'm trying to work. Go get some sleep. <laughs> um, if you happen to be up, um, I'm not sure what time zone you're in. For me, it's early. <laughs> For me, I'm usually turning on streams around six central, and I and he's already on. So I think. Th- you're either cent- I, no hold on I know where you are because of our conversation. You're either central or eastern. So yeah, yeah he's up he's up fairly early. So by by seven a.m. Eastern he's on, but I think he starts at four. So <laughs> chat chat translator. Hey, I didn't realize you were still in the in the thing. Chat translator was actually done by by Fluffy, the same guy that did your did, did stream puppy right maker. And it's actually, there's an overlay on the stream of Chat Translator that if you activate, if you turn it on and pick a language, it'll, the stuff that comes into chat will get posted into that in that language. But it's also in the chat. So if you type something like Guten Tag, it'll translate it. Tuesday, Wednesday morning at 3 o'clock is when I start. Cool. So, well, then I guess I'll see you next week. Because that's right, you work the rest of the week. So, so then I'll see you next week. So I won't see you tomorrow. I guess I'll just be listening to FG Squared if she can manage to stream. Or um, 2D Carry. So, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thank you for your kind words. And uh, go get some sleep. Get some good rest. I know you got work the rest. To, and take care. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. If there's one thing you can take away from this stream, everybody, it's make sure you take care of yourself. Okay, well, we'll see. If, if you're on, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely lurk in your channel while I write and listen and do my other work. So, um, but yeah, if there's one thing I'm going to say, you take a, if you should take away from this stream, it's remember to take care of yourself. Man, those guys are still going. 
That was. <laughs> I mean, I knew they would. I knew they would stay. They would stay running for a long time. That's why I set them to do that. But I'm just basically making money at this point. I'm trying to and find stuff. I'm trying to get all the, the level ten gear in this game. This is like the literal. This is the definition of idle gaming. Just set it and go. So I remember when I was studying for one of my promotion tests. I was doing. It was back when I was still playing World of Warcraft, which I don't play anymore for reasons I won't discuss. Um, right now, the the archaeology. I would set my tune to go to the archaeo archaeology sites that were a long ways away, and I would use the time in between the travel to do studying you know for my for my promotion when i got to the actual site they would i would make the the the, the archaeology a part of the the studying if i would, i would add, i had three different things up with you know different to different chapters doing asking questions and if i got all three right then i would do the next step in trying to find an artifact i mean I'd find an artifact once i found that one do the same thing again and i would just keep doing that and i did that for about 2 days and that was all i did that was all the studying i did i didn't spend any more time doing it and I scored the highest I've ever scored on that promotion test. So I'm constantly trying to find little ways to, little things that can accomplish the same thing. So like setting this team above me on a, sh on a starting at a higher level so they won't go as long and say, okay, I'm going to write until they die. And when they're dead, then I stop, I reset them. And then I set, and that's, because that works better for me than just timers. Timers are just, they're just timers. But being able to see them up there still going, like, oh, they're still going. I can keep going. It's kind of like that. It's just like, or watching you guys do stuff on stream. Like, oh, okay, well, they're still, they're still going. I can keep going. You know, stuff like that. So, well, I can say this. I'm glad I got on. Uh, I, again, I, it was one of those I was just, I was feeling obligated to be on. And so I'm, I'm glad I got on and talked. And I'm glad that, yeah, I was able to, to talk to everybody that everybody came and hung out and I do feel I do feel a little better and I appreciate the kind words and if I'm going to wrap this up on one thing and it's that I guess I that to say if apparently I'm doing something right because people are coming and hanging out and I hope that if I hope that that coming here and hanging, if if coming here and and hanging out helps you feel better, then yeah, I'd say that's that's a good thing. So, and I don't know, maybe maybe after the move and after I've got this editing project done and I'm just working on the one creative project, maybe I will extend the time of the stream so I can create more of a hey, just hang come and hang out for a while while I do something. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, come over this next week for sure. I'm probably going to have to go to a shorter stream based on the fact that I have family coming to visit and I don't necessarily want to be doing this while they're making noise around the house. Uh, we'll see. And all that good stuff. But hey, Killer of Oz, how are you? What's going on? I just, where was I just seeing you? I was just, I was just seeing you somewhere. I don't remember where. Were you, you were here. Oh, Monday, we were talking about books. Have you have you started reading anything since then? Uh, I have not, but I did get a new book to to listen to, and I did manage to box up all of my books. And I was looking through all of my books, like, and, and remembering how much I enjoyed listening to them, because they're all the ones I have physical copies of and audible copies of. Um, but hey, how's it going, Killer of Oz? I know. I said, yeah, I've got her up too because I'm not actually playing, so I didn't worry about the the CPU usage. Yeah, it looks like she had to start over. <laughs> and that, yeah, that's probably where I saw you today. I, and I definitely saw you hanging out in Carrie's room earlier. So if, I, I I have a nice schedule of places to hang out, of nice chill streams. Um, starting off with FG squared, and then 2D Carrie, and Riot Maker's another one in there. I can toss those three in there, and then sometime in the mid morning, those three start to drop off, and I hop over to Woe Jess for a while, or Insta Fluff, who does the stream puppy and the chat translator who will translate for you if you type in another language. <laughs> and the Clippy Raid thing that I've been telling Jess about, which is if you mouse over the thing, you'll see the buttons, the, the Raid and the sub buttons. Um, I'll hang out with Woe Jess before and after my stream. I kind I like doing that. But evening evenings I don't tend not to be on 
and if I am, I'm watching the chaos that is Spartan Stew. Because <laughs> if there's one thing you can count on, it's chaos. Um, the Killer of Oz, I'm doing better now. When I first started, and it's why I wasn't gaming today. When I first started, I wasn't doing so good. I wasn't doing so well. I was feeling very much the obligations of life were just wearing down on me. And I was feeling, I wasn't feeling like putting on my, 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 my Guthron the Gamer face today. Which is why the green screen is not up. So you guys can see what it's like back there. Although it's kind of shadowy. We're packing because we're moving a little bit. Every day I take a, ca a car load of boxes to our storage unit over near our new apartment. So it's easier when the time comes. But so yeah, I was not, I was not doing as well earlier. I had a bad encounter in another, another stream earlier today. And that coupled with some bad news I got from the VA yesterday and just all of the stresses and then not having, just not feeling like I'm getting anything done day in and day out and I'm just kind of barely getting by I was not feeling that I was not feeling as well when I started the stream so, but I've had I've had the opportunity to talk about it and I had some people in chat who were who were basically there to listen and offer me some nice distraction and we talked about extra life that will always cheer me up yeah, moving is stressful, even for someone as experienced at it as I am. I've this is like my thirty eighth house in forty one years, so I'm getting ready to move to my thirty ninth house. So I moving is a way of life for me. <laughs> but you're right; it is there is there's no way around it. Even even if even when you know what you're doing, it is stressful because everything just gets disrupted. Everything gets into your routines. So the, the setup that I have right here is literally going to be one of the last things that gets packed up, in part, in part because I need it for my job every day. But I'm not turning off the internet. I'm, I'm actually paying for our internet to go through the end of the month here so that I won't have to worry about losing internet here. And I'm actually paying to turn the internet on at the new place prior to us getting there so that when I get there, I don't have to wait. Now, I may not stream that week, but... We'll see, because I only have the truck for two days. So I may not stream that week, but we'll see. But yeah, military brat. And then I joined the military. Although ironically, as a member of the military, I managed to live in one place longer than everywhere. Actually, the two times that I've managed to live in one location longer than um, five years. So we're talking... Alaska from three, I was three years old when we moved there, three and a half, and I was 10 when we left, and then Georgia from 2006 to 2013. So both times about seven years. I think in Alaska, we only lived in one house, and that was the longest single stretch. In Georgia, we lived in, we lived in an apartment for the first year, and then an apartment for the last six months. And in between, we lived in a house that we paid for. Well, I figure for this move, the sim one, the simplest thing I could do between now and the time and the time when it came when we could move was just move all the little stuff. So everything that can go in a box is going in a box and is getting put in the storage unit. So like all of our bookshelves are empty now. Uh, my daughter's all of her books are gone. All of her Legos are packed up. All of her dolls are packed up, and they're all gone. They're stored away. All the stuff that I have stored in my closet up there up top is gone. Like all the little things that are around my desk right here are all going to be packed up and put in boxes and put there. So like I, up until now, I've only been making one trip a day because my wife works during the day. But starting next week, uh, I'll be um, doing multiple runs a day. Uh, see, that's just part of it. Uh, I've lived in Germany. I've lived in Korea. I have managed to circumnavigate the globe. I've gone, you know, I... Cause, it took a while, but I, if you start in 2011, when I flew back from Korea to Georgia, and in 2013, I went from Georgia to Germany, and then in 2014, I went from Germany to Okinawa, going that, that direction. I have managed to circumnavigate the globe in going one direction. <laughs> I have traveled. I've gone back and forth enough times. I've probably circumnavigated the globe twice. But I've only done the stint from Europe to Asia across Russia. That stretch right there, whichever direction you want to go over Russia or south over something else, I've only done that once. That was in 2014. But I've done the flight across the Pacific. One, two, three, four, five. I've done that six times. 
done the flight across the Pacific. And I've actually lost track of how many times I've flown across the Atlantic. <laughs> I'm just I, I'm just used to that now. That's that's that seven to eight hour flight. So yeah, I was born in Germany, lived in Georgia, then Alaska, then Germany again, then Colorado, Georgia. Went to college in Virginia. Lived in Vegas for a bit. Uh, graduated, went to Korea for a year, New Mexico for a couple of years, enlisted. Went to California for a year and a half, Georgia for seven, Germany for four and a half, and now I'm in Texas. I, th I think that's how, is it? I know it's pronounced Phineas, but I don't think it's actually spelled the way it's pronounced. I, that was one of my favorite movies growing up because I was doing it. I was traveling. So yeah, I, lo I loved watching that movie. I didn't like the remake. I felt like they were trying too hard, and I didn't really buy Jackie Chan as Pas Passepartout. I mean, I know that that what they were kind of trying to do with Passepartout in the story, in the book, but I just didn't buy Jackie Chan as Passepartout. So, okay, well, I'll end up going for an hour. Wow. So we've been doing this for a while. Um, tomorrow, in theory... Cellist Mike is going to be back, and we're going to try something. Um, he's he's been fi experiencing a lot more game fatigue than I am, but that's because he's been playing a lot more than I have. I'm, I, honestly, most of the time, if I didn't stream Monday through Friday, I wouldn't I w wouldn't play a game every day because I just outside of maybe a mobile game that I do. Remember that's that game that game right there that's just running. Uh, but like actively interacting with the game, if it wasn't for a stream, I wouldn't because I just, you know, just no time. Um, I, I try to make, so I've been trying to make sure I do that. But he, on the other hand, has that's, that's been all he's been doing. So he's kind of burnt out on games. So hopefully he'll be back tomorrow. But if he's not, then I may try something new. Uh, I have been getting a, a hankering for trying to survive on Mars. But I also have a city that I've been working on, the Killer of Oz you were here for on Monday. So I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Friday, everything, all, everything's out the window because Friday the kid's home. We don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how, what my life's going to be like for the next two months because it's going to be all disrupted. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, change my scene to this, and I'm going to say... If there's one lesson you can take out of this is take care of yourself and uh, even if you can't pin a, put a finger on it, you, you're probably making more of a difference than you realize. If I'm going to put a nice spin on it. Sorry, I got an email from someone I don't recognize. Um, so, Killer of Oz, I'm, I'm, I'll see you over in Jess's thing. I'm going to cast a host for InstaFluff because of all the things he's been doing. He actually just gave me some pro some pro licenses for um oh i forgot to turn the chat bot off because of the ch the cloud bot sorry i didn't realize it was double posting this whole time he gave me some some keys for stream puppy and i gave one to riot maker and i gave the other one to jess oh jess so hopefully she'll be figuring that out soon <laughs> speaking of hey i guess that's kind of it's kind of spooky there, bot. Kind of apropos. I, I didn't turn. I did not turn. Stream Puppy's not even on, so Sherman couldn't have predicted that. Because there is a feature in Stream Puppy called Sherman, who, if you say his name and then say a word, it will do something like that. So, but I don't have that thing turned on. So anyway, that's what I'm going to cast a host for. But, but Riot, I'll see you over in Jess's stream because I'm already hanging out in both Jess and InstaFluff stream. So. Um, if you, uh, he does coding and he is a ge genuinely friendly person. He's one of the friendliest faces you'll ever find. You'll, he's, that you'll ever find. It's always fluffy over there. And they, and all the stuff that he does, all the coding things, all the projects he works on, he does pretty much on stream with, with streamers and viewers. So it's, it's not on presently, but if I turn it on, you, so you can see that, that fellow right there driving around Rainbow Rampage, that was his, uh, Lou, Ludum Dare 44 game that uh, we all helped make. Uh, he did. He was he was writing the coding, but he was asking for us for feedback on it as he was going. And so the some of the uh, difficulty, like how many 
of the drones spawn when you play this thing on on my stream or his stream or any of the other streamers that have you are using it the how many of those drones spawn that was my idea i didn't feel i told them they needed to swarm more and there needed to be more of them and the tanks were too weak and me and a couple of people suggested it needed to make the tanks harder and he needed to have more variety of them so he now has like two different versions of the tanks and then there's the swarm and then the boss at the end so yeah, that's just it's it's just it's a it's an interactive thing for you guys to play. It's meant to be used during like a startup, or like if you're sitting here just talking. So like actually, I could have left it on this whole time, but I just didn't. I had it turned off for something else. And I just forgot to turn it back on, or during a be right back thing. And they're working on making leaderboards so you can see who's like whose stream was running Candy Time. Like so, if your so if your stream manages to beat it. Your viewers managed to beat it. It will go on to the leaderboard so you can see that stuff. But they're still working out. We're working on that one. So yeah, that's just a that's just a browser source. The thing's running in the background. Not like not even on my thing. It's just running from the site. So yep, that's what that is. So cool. So I'm gonna pat cast a host for him when I when I wrap this, and I will see you guys. I will be back tomorrow. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have some good news about my creative projects and have made a little more progress with those. So, and uh, again, this is an extra live stream. It's up on, it's up there on every one of my streams or it's right below me in every one of my streams. You can help out. You can, by joining, you can help out by donating. Find out more at extra life. Org. You can and you can do all. You can fundraise all year. You can you can participate in the the twenty four hour event all at once. You can split it up. There's all kinds of things. And you can ask me if you have any questions. You can ask me. I'd be glad to talk to you about it. And you can also follow the Twitch TV Extra Life for Kids. You can follow the Twitch stream there and watch streamers throughout the day playing and fundraising for you know for Extra Life. Okay, thank you for hanging out, Anthropophagic, uh, Killer of Oz, Nobody, Riot Maker. Thanks for hanging out, chit chatting with me. All the lurkers, um, you know who you are, and I'm glad that you're here. And I'm glad that you found this place and that that you feel safe enough to hang out here. So that's the point. So I will catch you guys all on the flip side. Uh, talk to you later. And there's a message from, yep, tornado warning. Yay. So have a good day, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Anthropophagic, I'll see if I can catch your next stream. Bye.